This method on how to fix a wheel hex will work, just not on every car. Depends on the power level that you're putting through it. Two S, three S, this this method will work. If, however, you're using it to fix it, a car which you're putting 6S power through, like my Axel SMT 10 here, you will find that 6S power destroys it. Anyway, first of all, I'm going to show you how to fix the wheel axe. Then I'm going to show you what happens when you put 6S power through that repaired wheel axe, which doesn't hold up for very long. Anyway, keep watching because it is useful, but only if you put the right amount of power through it. So, how to fix a broken wheel axe? Not the axe on the axle but the hex in the wheel because this metal hex on the full 6S power on my Axial SMT10 has managed to round out the inside of the hex on the wheel. Anyway, let's get straight on to how to fix a broken hex in your wheel. Well, the first thing I've done is take the grub screw that locks the uh, hex to the axle. Not all hexes, by the way, have a grub screw attaching them uh, to the axle. Not all of them are made of metal. These ones by axle happen to be made of metal a lot like the Traxxas ones are made of plastic. The more power cars tend to use or the more torque they have in the case of the axle, uh, axial, uh, the more likely they have to be metal, but that's just an aside. Anyway, with that removed, now I'm gonna pop that inside the wheel housing. To give you some idea of the problem, I'm gonna hold that steady and you can turn the whole wheel round. Hopefully you can see that there, guys. That's just how bad the thing is, and how lack, that's why it's not putting any power down uh, through the uh, the rear at the minute because this one wheel is just spinning because that's is turning completely. So I'm going to put some epoxy on the inside of this and leave this to set overnight. Obviously, put the epoxy in there first, then push this through very gently, making sure that I fill this hole first of all, so I'm not pushing that through and getting the hole full of epoxy because that will be the devil itself to get out of there. Well, in Richie's magic cupboard of epoxy, I managed to find some uh, Gorilla two-part epoxy, which is one of these things where you've got two plunges on there, squeeze it all through together. Please note, I'm not sponsored by Gorilla, but I have put a link through to this, should anybody find it useful, very good stuff. My tip for you when doing this, put the nut uh, back on the end of the axle, so at least you don't end up losing the wheel nut uh, when you've done anything, and do keep an eye not to knock that pin out, as that's very easy to lose as well. Okay, we're mixing the epoxy up. All you need to do is break the tip off of there, and there's a little insert that goes in there as well, or pushes out of there rather, so we're just gonna squirt a bit onto our cardboard here. Mix that up using the spatula that comes with the stuff. Always keep hold of the spatula, and it's gonna prove very useful, because the epoxy is very, very messy. Don't get it on hands, all you okay, When you get epoxy in there, you're gonna have to work pretty fast. I'm gonna take my hacks, which you've had to put this handy piece of tissue paper through the middle because as I say, you don't wanna get the uh, epoxy on that, uh, well, in the middle of that hole, if that makes sense on that. All looks good in place, fingers crossed. It's not gonna, it doesn't need any real pressure putting it on over there. So I'm just gonna leave that as long as the thing is down and firm and straight. That is the one thing I would say, because obviously you don't want the wheel not being at an angle, because otherwise then the wheel's gonna shake around uh, and it goes from side to side. Well, I've tidied everything up, so I'm gonna leave that to set overnight. No point in rushing these things. You might as well leave it to hard in 24 hours and uh, come back to that in the morning. See if that has uh, fixed my wheel hex. I've uh, left my wheel setting overnight, so it's had a good 12 hours to uh, go solid and it appears to be nice and solid. So, I'm just gonna remove the tissue and uh, see how we are. Okay, now I've got my tissue out. I also wanna make sure that uh, get rid of most of the epoxy from there. I've still got a little bit left to trim away with the uh, craft knife on that and make sure the inside is nice and flush and that your groove uh, that the pin is going to lock in your hex is also nice and flush but overall that's looking pretty well it's certainly uh, not showing any signs of moving now. What I would say is uh, this mod on uh, how to fix a uh, wheel hex will work for most cars you have to bear in mind that this was running on 6S when did this damage to it. Uh, so for most cars we're running on 2S, 3S, this, this repair is going to be absolutely fine. I'm going to have to take it a little bit careful on feeding the power in, uh, otherwise the same problem is going to occur. But I'm just going to keep the 6S on there, do one big speed run on the thing, uh, and then back to normal life at 3S, in which the case this thing should be absolutely fine. So just something to be aware of, uh, that this will work, but you need to think about the power demand you're putting through it. Anyway. I'm gonna get my uh, wheel back on and uh, take this baby out for a test on 6S and see. Well, just brought Max D out for its 6S speed run. So this is a 6S SMT10 running today. Just gonna do a quick few uh, passes up and down. Just... Anyway. 
Airborne Max D. Forty-two miles an hour before it went airborne. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and I got some major steering issues. Something is amiss in the steering joys of speed running it doesn't always go right so it sounds like something else may have come adrift on here I'm expecting it may be one of the wheels actually uh, but I need to tighten that front steering on because that's not acceptable being that low so you can see this method on how to fix a wheel hacks is a good fix up to a point if you go putting a stupid amount of power through it it's going to bust the wheel axe again if you're maybe running on a nickel metal hydride pack or a 2R or a 3S pack on your car that wheel axe repair method I showed you should hold up so that's the reason why I posted this idea uh, on YouTube as I felt it was still relevant just maybe not to a high power application I hope that makes sense I think it might be useful for people if it saves somebody having to buy a new wheel uh, then that is my job done for the day anyway thanks for watching I hope it did find that a little bit useful even if it wasn't quite a result I was after we hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, I do hope you like this video. If you do, then please hit subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to it. Anyway, on with the action.